Hello Himo friends and welcome back to this new episode of the Longshot Beginner's Guide. I apologize for being so late, but me and my friend Fabrizio What's your name, Fabrizio? Fabrizio! Okay, that had to wait because he had a little surgery and of course he needed time to heal from it. But uh, let's instantly get back to our longsword practice. In the last episode we have seen Longa and how this guard can be used to keep the opponent at bay when he tries to breach our safe space. This time we will see how the attacker can break this position and thrust safely. So let's start. First of all let's give a look to the action we are going to use. The first part of the action is simply what is generally called an half cut. We cut our Mandarito Fendente from the place, as I have explained to you in the very first episode of this series. During this cut, we have to push our center of gravity forward. We lift our right heel from the ground and we push forward with the left hip, thrusting our belly and our balance forward. Then we instantly use this movement to step forward while keeping the tip of our sword on line. Let's see now how to apply this action with our training partner. So Fabrizio keeps the longer position, trying to keep me away with the threat of his tip. I execute the action we have seen before. I use my fendente, beating the opponent's sword downward. I push my right hip and my center of gravity forward while doing so, and then I execute one or two passing steps to thrust at the opponent. Pay attention to execute every single movement in a proper way. Don't rush for the thrust. Now, here you will see some examples of this action. Sometimes I will thrust close to Fabrizio neck to better represent a thrust through the opponent. Other times I will go for the chest or neck, which represent a correct exercise and sparring execution of this technique. Okay, so now we have trained our action in a perfect and ideal situation. Let's start to bring a little bit of realism in our training. In this new exercise, Fabrizio will reach a longer position, only when he will start to feel that I am at the very edge of his safe measure. I will approach Fabrizio keeping my left foot forward and my sword over the right shoulder. In posta di donna. As soon as Fabrizio moves his sword to longa, I start my action. Don't wait too much. As soon as you understand that the sword is moving toward the center line, start your offensive action. Very good, today we have learned how to execute a beat and attack, or a rebattere e punta, as Piore would probably have named it. The next video will be the number 10 of this series, and we will introduce two important exercises for our training, namely flourishing and the slow motion sparring. Remember guys, if you want to help this channel grow up, you can do it in three ways by liking and sharing this video on your social media network, by subscribing to the channel if you haven't already done it, and by joining my Patreon community. You will find the link in the video description. As always, thanks for watching guys and uh, see you next time.